Today, I'm going to teach you how to find the area of parallelograms, triangles, and trapezoids. The rule for parallelograms is the same for rectangles, because basically a parallelogram is a slanted rectangle. So, multiply the height by width. For this example, I have a parallelogram with a width of 12 and a height of 6. As I already said, to solve this, multiply the height by width. In this case, just multiply 12 by 6. The area of this parallelogram is 72. And don't forget a measurement. The rule for triangles is multiply the width by height divided by 2. A triangle is half the area of a rectangle. So when multiplying the width by height, we get the area of a rectangle instead of the triangle. For this example, I'm using a triangle with the width of 3 and a height of 4. Step 1. Multiply the width by height. In this example, multiply 3 by 4. Step 2. Divide that by 2. And the answer is 6 centimeters. The rule for trapezoids is a little more complicated. It's base 1 plus base 2. Multiply by the height and divide it by 2. When multiplying the bases and multiplying them by the height, you're doubling the size of the trapezoid, but we only need the area of one trapezoid, so we divide by 2. I'm using a trapezoid with the first base of 5 and the second base of 7, and a height of 3. Step 1. Add the two bases. In this example, add 5 plus 7. Step 2. Multiply that by the height, or in this example, by 3. Step 3. Divide that by 2. The area for this trapezoid is 18 centimeters. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you learned something from it and enjoyed it. Bye!